Hello, I'm Piers Corbyn from weatheraction.com, long range weather and climate forecasters. And today, February the 25th, 2011, I'm going to give you a short review of the winter weather, especially extreme events around the world. First of all, our forecast for Britain and Ireland uh, has gone uh, extremely well for the most extreme events in December, for example, and for developments in January and February, uh, there's been some very important findings and significant successes in Britain and around the world. First of all, for December, for Britain and Ireland, and particularly uh, eastern parts and central parts of, of, of of Britain, we said it would be the coldest December for 100 years, and it was. And we hope that the British authorities will pay attention to this, uh, because it follows on our very considerable success of extreme seasonal forecasts over the years, and we believe these should be applied to help people. Um, the details in December were well forecast as well, including heavy snow and this, this disruption in very, very severe conditions. Um, our forecast for January uh, started very well and including a mild apart from the 6th to the 10th, which we correctly forecast, but the mildness continued much longer than we thought. Uh, we now understand the reasons for that, and that's led to an advance in our solar lunar action technique to number 6A, slat 6A. Um, um, but nevertheless, the uh, January forecast did turn colder at the end, as we said. And interestingly, there was very cold weather on the continent, exactly as we predicted, but essentially shifted over slightly to the east. February... Again, the developments uh, within February, and we had issued a revised forecast on this, uh, in comparative terms went, went well, um, although there was still a bit more mildness uh, than we expected. So for the winter as a whole, for Britain and Ireland, the forecast is very skilled for Scotland and eastern parts and very skilled for the far south west, where it was milder as we predicted. Um, and we've learnt a lot on making progress. Uh, and there's fuller discussion available on weatheraction.com website on this matter. Right, now for around the world uh, in the winter, we've made very considerable advances. Um, the results for America in uh, end of December and January, all those big blizzards that which we predicted in detail uh, weeks and months ahead have gone extremely uh, well. Um, and for February, we've had some very interesting developments around the world. First of all, the end of January, start of February, saw, in line with our predictions, a very major blizzard taking place uh, over about half the USA, and that was the biggest prediction uh, we made, the biggest storm forecast we made for America in January happened where and when we said, and at the same time, simultaneously, also in a long-range forecast, we said there would be tropical storm formation likely to the east of Queensland. That happened. Those two developments happened simultaneously. Uh, massive disruption in America, tropical storm Yazzie homed in towards uh, uh, Queensland and caused uh, huge damage and disruption. The next significant uh, world event directly linked with uh, extreme solar activity was the middle of the month. February the 15th, the first X2 solar flare for four years formed. Um, and uh, uh, corresponding to our forecast, that led to 
a number of extreme events again, which we had specifically predicted. There was tremendous auroral displays, north and south hemispheres on the 18th and 19th uh, of the month. And on those dates, we had, as predicted, another big uh, American blizzard a bit further north, and we said it would be further north, and another tropical storm forming to the east of Queensland. Um, and this, this one tracked more towards New Zealand and didn't make a land hit, but nevertheless it formed as we said it would. Um, and for Britain and Ireland at the same time, we had a significant snow hit uh, in uh, 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 the north and uh, uh, eastern parts, which we warned would be much more serious than anything the Met Office would be saying from a day or two ahead. And indeed it was. The snow went to lower levels, was more and was more widespread and more intense. So, not only can our solar lunar action technique make long-range forecasts, it can also improve on standard meteorology even 12 hours ahead under conditions which we know about. During the last week of February, our successes in America have continued and uh, very interestingly, the details of a warmer spell in Britain uh, came spot on as timed and at the end of that, uh, the Met Office now is forecasting what we said would happen. It would turn colder in the last few days of the month. So, overall, we can say for uh, the winter as a whole and uh, for the details of February around the world in particular, we are very pleased with the successes we've made and advances uh, in the solar lunar action technique and we will apply these to further long-range extreme forecasting around the world. Thank you.